We continue to highlight the fact that looking out over the coming months and years, uncertainty and volatility in financial markets will be much less about the outcome of any one specific event, including the U.S. election, and so much more about a world now being forced to contend with downside risks without having that same bazooka-sized artificial support from central banks and governments as we've seen since the onset of the financial markets crisis of 2008. When looking at the U.S. election, we believe the argument for positive and negative market reactions are equally compelling for both candidates. If President Trump emerges as the victor, financial markets could sell off on expected social unrest in response to the result, but could just as easily rally on the relief of a continuation of policies that have encouraged favorable market conditions over the past four years. If Biden comes through, financial markets could sell off on uncertainty around changes in policy, including the possibility for a rise in corporate taxes. At the same time, a Biden victory could invite fresh demand for risk assets on the welcoming of change and the expectation that greater fiscal stimulus will be forthcoming. Ultimately, it comes down to whether the market chooses to look at the glass as half full or half empty, whatever the result. And it's here where our concern rests, in that we are entering a period where the glass will be looking a whole lot more half empty on account of the state of exhausted central bank policy and government stimulus tools. With that said, we believe the outlook post-election, whether it be Trump or Biden, is an outlook that projects risk-off flow in markets, with stocks seen under pressure and the U.S. dollar mostly in demand given its traditional safe haven appeal. That's all for now.